Back in 2011, I had an opportunity to do a ride along with the SeaTac police. We ended up following two young women when they made contact with a sex buyer. And later when they pulled over and they were learning more, they looked up the women in the system and both had been runaways since the age of 14. They had no idea how people were lured into this and how they were treated once they were in it and how hard it was to get out. They were clueless in that, about that, but they also were really shocked to find out how prevalent it is in the area where they live. So when Kent did the first sting and Ken told me about it, you know, they put up the ad and they had so many calls within 20 minutes they had to take it down. Like 120 calls or contacts. What do we have to do to back up to say, how do we really stop this from happening? Policy is a powerful way to change our society's mindset around human trafficking. That's why Washington Engage focuses on not only developing policies, but to see to it that they will be enforced statewide in Washington State. I know that by us teaming up, we've passed a lot of legislation. I certainly hope all my fellow legislators have a chance to have coffee with their police chiefs and talk about changes and what the needs are. I hope we can do more training. We make it a priority. This is an important issue for our police department and for our community. So far this year, we've made well over 60 uh, cases for prostitution on the Johns. Our court has collected over $18,000. Washington Engage will continue to develop policies and work through our coalitions to prevent human trafficking.